Initially, I was going to make a short that summarized the absolutely brain-dead mistake that Sony was going to pull by forcing all PC players to create a PSN account in order to play Helldivers 2. This would have cut off 60% of the world from accessing the game, as 118 out of the 195 countries in the world do not have PlayStation Network support. On top of that, hundreds of thousands of players who do have access demanded refunds and review-bombed the game, which Steam supported. Compounding this, horrible choices made like the tone-deaf response by community manager Spitz, it appeared Helldivers 2's stratospheric success was going to implode like Columbia. But before I had even finished the script for the short the other night, Sony stone-cold stunned the world when they reversed course and decided not to implement PSN account requirements. Guys, you did it! You won! Take a deep breath and pat yourselves on the back, as this is fantastic news and should be one of the biggest white pill suppositories you can fit. For years, people have decried those who disagree with them as every phobic istinism they can make up, and Helldivers 2 was about to fall victim as yet another game that had resisted the woke mob only to fall. But in the end, Sony actually heard and listened to what you had to say. Arrowhead has pushed back against both sides of the political aisle, saying there will be no politics in the game whatsoever. That's a blessing in today's world, and Helldivers 2 being one of the recent surprise success stories like Lethal Company, that popularity draws attention, and as usual, demands. The left has pushed hard for everything, from the dumped out bag of Skittles that people call pride flags nowadays, to the outright banning of players for nothing more than disagreeing with their ideology under the guise of, it's harassment, or this is to create a better community. The push for PSN accounts would have been the death knell of Helldivers 2, as the community manager stated, this would have allowed for easier banning of players. And of course, we know where she stands. The main lesson to take away here is, ironically, democracy. I can't wait to see the retarded, you don't have media literacy crowd try to bend backwards and say, uh, the subtext says that democracy is actually a bad thing. <laughs> Fucking automatons. This isn't some army of leftist bot accounts copy-pasting the same argument repeatedly. This was a massive reaction by real people like you who will not stand for unnecessary governance forced upon them by people who believe themselves to be your betters or a desperate corporation trying to fluff their dwindling numbers. And the cool thing is, you can do it again. Money is a resource, and without it, a business falls. And as more and more companies start to reduce the amount of crap content they spew out, like Disney, or outright reject the notion of domineering lawfare such as DEI, the more money they gain. And as their profits increase, they will switch over to making better quality shows and movies, which makes us happy in turn, which means they will get our hard-earned money. It's a win-win. And considering the left's game is obfuscation and fear, as the number of these nutjobs is nowhere near as high as corporate media would have you believe, all you need to do is take a stand, give them the bird, and say no more. Now again, I'm ecstatic this reversal happened but we should not allow this to drop our guard. Sony has a history of censoring games and has received as much DEI money as Biden has through his backdoor deals with China. Stellar Blade is doing well, but Eve's costume department had everything altered shy of the addition of a complimentary niqab. And only a few years ago, Sony patented technology to track your behavioral data, which can see you kicked out of games if you pass at least one of the multiple behavioral checks. Sorry, but I like the idea of psychopath being an anime, not reality. With DEI faltering and Bridge already being used to entrench ever deeper roots in the entertainment world, we are not out of the woods yet. Again, this is absolutely great news, and I'm very happy about it, because this is what happens when real people, real gamers, stand up for themselves, and ironically, the democracy these lunatics claim to stand for is actually carried out by the people for what they want. Don't give up, don't give in, keep going, and it will get better in time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.